Hey everybody! This is D and this is Down the Wormhole. These are the baby bettas and they are now a week old. So I thought I'd just take you along with me while I tried to clean them up. So the first thing I gotta do is you just gotta add light to the situation. These guys are so small and they hide in the poop on the bottom. So I like to add the biggest light I can on the top. So I have no idea how many's in there. I usually lose count about 50 or 60 right now. Which is fine by me. All I got in this tank is the heater. I do keep a little bubbler in there. Just to keep the water moving. I've had it in there the whole time. I've never shut it off. I do like to clean with a razor blade, especially because I am doing these videos now. So I just clean the front. And the back's not too stuck on there, but you can just not get it off without at least scraping it up a little bit. So really watch your little dudes, because they do not know to get out of the way <laughs> at all. <laughs> they just kind of dart. So I just go around, give it a loose scrape, usually about once a week. So this is my first time cleaning these guys. It's not totally stuck on yet, so... Everything comes off fairly easy. I just give it a once over. At this point I've also just got the rock, one Indian almond leaf, a little bit of plant, and there are some floating plants still alive. They don't, they don't seem to be enjoying the warm temperatures in this tank very much. All we need to do now is just kind of let all this stuff settle back down to the bottom so we can try and pick it up. Thank goodness for, <laughs> well, time lapse. You can see all the little guys swimming around in there, just checking it out. As you can see, why it is extremely hard to figure out exactly how many I got on. So what I used to vacuum out the bottom is just some air tubing that I got from Walmart, I think this was, I was there at. And I have currently tied it on to a wooden spoon. They're cheap, I get them at the dollar store. I also get a kick out of using the wooden spoons. Yeah, I did not see the hose that it fell in front of the... <laughs> as soon as I started the suction so I'm very sorry I could not take my eyeballs off the tank as you can tell how small these guys are this batch is funny most of them look like they're gonna end up white it seems to be a very dominant color the brown ones or the darker colored ones usually have a darker color to them and the white ones have a nice white dot on their head which makes them a little easier to see <laughs> which is kind of nice so yeah a little bit at a time with these guys it's just so hard <laughs> So the heater that I've got here is from Multi-Tank Addictions. It has been working so good so far. So I'll let you know at the end how many we ended up getting. <laughs> if you want to type it quick into the comments and <laughs> see how close you were. So with these guys in the water, I just use the same water that I do do with my adults. It's all been treated with a little bit of salt that I mix around in my big mixing pail. I don't do anything else with it. It's all been sitting for about 24 to 48 hours, I would say. And it does go through a couple buckets before it makes it into my main mixing pail. No water conditioner or anything. Sometimes in the spring I'll add some. It depends on... If you smell the chlorine or not in it. But in the winter, our city water isn't too bad. So as you can see, this does take a very long time. you got to go really slow or you're just going to end up picking a lot of these little guys back out of your basket. 
but the cleaner your water is, I definitely find that it does help them grow faster. So I do like to get this started and get them used to the hose as soon as possible. I can't say that it gets any easier. <laughs> Can you guys hear the birds in the background? I thought they'd make a nice little addition and I'm starting to wonder. <laughs> Now I think they're just yelling at me. <laughs> but yeah, definitely the nice clean water and getting them used to the hose is good. Like I keep saying, it doesn't always mean that it's going to be any easier as they get bigger. I actually think they start getting nosy pretty quick and then they start aiming at your hose. So sometimes these first couple cleanings are actually easier than the next couple cleanings. <laughs> This is a five gallon tank. And I ended up taking, I think it was about six cups of water out. This is how I add it, just on the side. It's not pre warmed or anything, so I do take my time adding it, and I like to make sure that the heater does kick in. But by running it down the side of the tank, it slows down the water enough that it doesn't disrupt them. And and a little bit of exercise, I don't think will hurt them. <laughs> so I do take my time during this. This was probably all done of over about a 10 to 15 minute period. But then again, we got <laughs> the power of the speed up here, hey? As you can see, none of the fish are really having too much trouble with it afterwards. So here's the water that I did take out. <laughs> and there is the one that I caught. <laughs> and this does get difficult as they get bigger because they do try and aim for the hose. And eventually they just don't fit up the hose. So afterwards, I just fed them a pile of microworms, fill up their bellies again, so you can kind of see them on here, picking it off of the leaf. <laughs> They're definitely adorable at this stage. It's hard to not come in and just check out how they were doing. I'm feeding them microworms and the brine shrimp. I do love the brine shrimp the most at this point. About three or four feedings of that and one of the microworms a day. So I hope this has helped some of you guys on how to vacuum these guys and take care of them in their first week. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and I will see you guys in your videos. Bye!